was me the first time I tried to study for my IFR exam. Eh, this shouldn't be so hard. I'll probably be ready to take it in about a week. <laughs> but it does get better. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby. The first thing I want to kind of get out of the way is what does IFR stand for? So IFR is my second license that I'm trying to get as a pilot and the first one that you get private pilot you train under VFR which means visual flight rules so whenever you fly it's basically really good weather but IFR allows you to fly in crappier weather and with reference to the flight instruments. So VFR means visual flight rules and IFR means instrument flight rules. I passed my IFR brand exam this January with a score of 85% which is actually the same score that I got for my private pilot, which is kind of weird. And I used the same things. I used an online course on my laptop. I used a textbook and just a notebook to take notes in. So exactly the same stuff, more or less, that I used last year for my private pilot exam. But the difference was in my study strategy. So I did some things differently that were a lot better this time around. Last year, and it was really stupid. I don't know why I did it, but I thought it was the only way to do it. I would go to school all day and I would do my classes and everything in the morning and then I would come home and at 9, 10, 11 p.m. I would study for my private pilot. This time around for IFR, I would do my IFR stuff in the morning and then later in the day I would do more schoolwork, which is kind of sacrificing schoolwork, but I only did that for about two weeks hardcore before I went to take the exam. Don't do that. Please don't do what I did. Studying 12 a.m., 1 a.m., you're not even gonna remember anything. Moving on to the next tip. It's a little bit embarrassing to say, but it took me a pretty long time to find out my studying strategy and my studying style, how I study better. After getting my private pilot license, I noticed I'm very much a hands-on learner. While that's a problem with IFR is because a lot of it is numbers and figures that you're learning, but you're not really doing it hands-on because you're just doing the book work. So it's saying things like, fly an ILS approach. Okay, that's awesome, but that's, it's on the book. Like I have to, visualize it or I have to see a video or I have to actually do it for me to learn best. So what helped me was watching YouTube videos. It's just, I know I'm a hands-on learner and I know that that's the way I learn best. So video kind of helped with that. So just learn how you learn best. Are you auditory, visual, hands-on, kinetic? What type of learner are you? And apply that to your learning strategy and you'll pass. The biggest thing that helped me for IFR was setting a date and being committed. Everybody, everybody peer pressure, says that as soon as you set a date, you start getting more serious about it. It's kind of a mental switch that just goes on, but it's really true because I met up with a pilot friend who had just taken the IFR and he was training for his commercial and then he was giving me tips on how he passes IFR. So we would study together and he forced me to pick a date in January. I didn't really want to at first. I was like, no, no, it's okay. I'll, I'll get it done. Don't worry about it. But he forced me to pick a date and that was good because we were committed to studying together. We were committed to helping each other pass. And once you set a date, it becomes more realistic. So Shepard Air on my laptop, Jepson textbook, the electronic E6B that I brought from a friend that I never ended up using in the exam. That was all I used to study and a notebook that I wrote down in like on, I wrote on two pages. <laughs> the next tip I have is to study shorter and smarter, not longer and harder. Be kind of like a workout. If you do a workout in a shorter amount of time, it's probably going to be more intense and you'll be able to give more energy versus a workout that's an hour and a half. Cut it shorter and then make it more intense. Going over the tips of what helped me, studying in the morning, not at night, when I have the most energy, in the morning do it first because a lot of information is really hard to absorb too. Number two, study shorter and harder, not longer, and just waste time. And four, have a study buddy because that also keeps you committed. I know that these probably sound really oversimplified. You're like, why did I even click on this video? This was stupid. But that's, I, I didn't have a whole lot to work with. Like this is what I had to work with and it worked. I just kind of want to show you that you don't need a whole bunch of fancy study materials. You can do it with very few supplies and you can do it in a pretty short amount of time. You just have to hit hard, you just have to be dedicated. That's how I did it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, so really quick y'all, I just wanted to show you this. This is all cracking. That is exactly what happened to the plane when I broke the tail cap. That's exactly what the plastic looked like. It looked like all yellow and really old. Hey partner, do you, the car still sounds like that. Okay, um. I have more gas than yesterday. That's a Christmas late miracle. You wanna um, film really quick? <laughs>